Gibson Reedy here with the Clearing News and the school year is coming down to the end. Everyone is counting down the days. The weather is getting nicer. Everyone is looking forward to that upcoming summer. But unfortunately, with the end of the school year, Cleveland High School will be losing a few staple staff members here. First off, we start with a familiar face we see in the Cleveland High School business office. I started here in August of 2005, so nine years. So what I do is I order all equipment, tools, whatever, paper, pencils, everything that the school uses comes through my office. What are you most looking forward to about retirement? First of all, not having an alarm clock in the morning. Always my favorite. <laughs> First year, I'm going to just kind of see how it goes and maybe take some fun, edu you know, not educational classes, but fun type classes that both the Park Bureau and PCC both offer. And then I'll see what goes after that. I actually really like seeing the kids. Yeah. And the staff here is great, so I'm yeah. going to miss everybody here at Cleveland. Yeah. Be nice to the new person. Don't say, Jenny did it that way. Uh oh, <laughs> that'd be bad. Yeah, yeah. definitely, definitely. So just, you know, continue being the way they are and, you know, just be friendly to the new person that takes my job. Now, English teacher Mr. Miles in the East Wing is not retiring, but has already left this year. He is having surgery and had to leave early. He is also looking at a possible promotion that would change his job next year. Cleveland High School's math hall, although not a popular place in the building for students, is home to one of Cleveland's most vibrant, fun, funny, and excitable teachers, math teacher Mr. Ball. This is my eighth year here at Cleveland. I teach the greatest subject of all, mathematics. I am retiring from teaching school, um, not because I don't like teaching kids, but I have to take care of myself better, and I need um, I need to get away from the stress of school and hope that that allows me to make healthier decisions. Mr. Ball's retirement is going to evolve as he figures out what it's like without work. In a way, I'm starting the, the same quest that all high school students um, are going through of figuring out who I am. Mm -hmm. um, only in this case, it's who am I without school to define. The things I want to do is um, write a little book about early um, childhood education in math. I'm looking forward to volunteering for Habitat for Humanity. I like to build things. Trying to find positive ways to still contribute and uh, taking care of me a little better. I'm going to miss um, my daily interaction with young people, which has been a joy, and they have taught me uh, at least as much as I've taught them over the years. Um, and I, I'm really going to miss that. You know, a short advice almost always takes the form of cliches. Yeah. Because uh, those, those cliches exist for a reason. Yeah. And the cliche really would be um, seize the day. Yeah. Your opportunities come. And if you don't take advantage of them, they go. Now if you take a look at that senior countdown, not a whole lot of days left, about 18 days until the seniors graduate and are out of here. Now if you want to leave a message with the senior, you can visit English teacher Mr. Sorensen to put a little note to a senior. That will be in the newspaper on the senior edition. They're going to have a full page there. You can write a little note to a senior and put it in the newspaper. Really cool thing they're doing this year. So everyone just hanging in until the end of the school year. Summer vacation plans already rolling out and the seniors are getting, getting excited as their activities are now going on. As always, this is Gibson Reedy coming at you live from Cleveland High, the Clarion News.